how to find clients as a freelancer. So I just made a freelance video of iOS freelancing and kind of how much money they made. And a lot of people seem to like it. So I'm going to go over how to find clients as a freelancer because that was a question that some people asked me. We're going to start off with just building a foundation and then putting yourself out there. So first is you have to build a portfolio. So you have to, you have to show people that you know what you're doing. A good way to do that, you know, probably how you learned iOS development or whatever you may be. I'm going to be referring to iOS development this this video for sake of argument. So iOS development, you have you know you have to have some apps in your portfolio. That's probably how you learned. That's the best way to learn is to create an app. So you have to have an established portfolio. So have apps on the app store so people can download them for free. You know, potential clients in the future can download them for free and see if they want your work, if they like your work or not. You know, you don't want to try to con people. You want to have honest clients that enjoy and like your work because that'll just spread like wildfire. If they enjoy your work, they'll tell their friends or tell you know, neighboring companies, tell their clients, depending on what business they're in, and you'll have a lot more business. You can also participate in the open source community over on GitHub. So you can put some of your applications that you don't mind anyone messing with and you have other people working on your projects as well as you have the potential to work on other people's projects and that'll also help you learn and make connections over there. So that'll help you connect with other iOS developers. And you should also have some type of portfolio website where you have all of your established applications and links to them, whether it's to GitHub or to the App Store. And I actually go over that in one of my older videos where it's 100% free, you don't have to pay for hosting or anything because it's through GitHub and you're able to use my template, so my website, you just take it for yourself, you put your information in it, and then you put it to GitHub, to GitHub pages, and I go over that in that video up in the YouTube card. So that's a great starting point. I mean, of course, before that, your starting point is learning and actually creating these apps, but you need to have some type of foundation. You can't take on a client and not know anything, so have your portfolio for proof. And then what you wanna do on top of that is have people, allow people to trust you. So right now, you may not trust me, but I have enough videos where if you watch enough, you can kind of, you, you know who I am. You see my face, you know how I talk. You can kind of get a feel for me. You're gonna trust me a lot more if you can see me, talk to me, uh, communicate with me one way or another instead of just seeing me on freelance, being like, oh, he's cheap, let me hire him. Or, you know, I, oh, he has cool apps, let me hire him. It works sometimes for some people, but you need to you need to make yourself stand out compared to all the other people who are on the same website. So I would say allow people to trust you by you know working on different or presenting yourself on different social media outlets. So go on YouTube if you want to make videos, be on YouTube and Instagram. Put some videos out there. Put some content on Instagram. Make sure your profile picture is like your face or you instead of just don't don't hide behind a logo. Or, or branding, make yourself the brand. After all, you are the brand, you are the freelancer. So do that, you can also, you know, whatever social media platform you prefer, just make sure people are able to communicate with you and trust you in a certain way. So make sure they know what you look like, probably sound like as well, all that good stuff will help. And you can participate over on Quora or Stack Overflow. If you're answering questions, like I've seen someone answer questions that are that happened to be like my last video is how much money you know can you charge an hour for freelancing and you know he kind of comments says you know I've been doing this for so and so years and people are like oh he's a freelancer you know someone's looking up how much they should charge a, a freelancer that they may want to hire they're going to Google it they may find it on Quora or on Stack Overflow or or just anywhere else and if they see that you are a freelancer they'll be like oh look at this guy you know he. He's out here, I don't have to go search on any of these other websites, I can, I can hire him. So that'll get you in front of people as well and build your connections uh, wide and tall. Once you've built that foundation, you very well may have a following on social media. So you may have some clients or, or friends of clients that are already following you, and that's a, that's a head start. If not, that's okay too. Now it's really like the time to hustle. I know that a lot of people say that. What does hustle mean? We're gonna go over that. One way that I've seen people I've done it as well when it came to, to web development. You take, you create a pamphlet, right? You create a pamphlet, you have your picture on it, so people, you know, back to the trust thing, so people see you. 
you have your name, your contact information on it, and you have some examples of what you've created. So, you know, if you created this one application that just, you know, you just think is amazing looking as well as amazingly, you know, functional, then what you do is you put some of the screenshots of that application on this pamphlet. Another thing you could do instead of having your own, you know, unique application is connect with that person. Most people have used or still use Facebook. Recreate Facebook in a much better, nicer, your style way and show it to people on your pamphlet or anywhere else for that matter. And people may be like, wow, I really like this. If he can do this to, you know, one of the top, one of the top uh, websites, companies for that matter, what can he do for, for my app and my company? I, I want to hire this guy. And with that pamphlet, take it to local shops. It doesn't matter if you, if you don't think they'll ever need an app. It doesn't matter. If you give it to them and they don't need an app, there's a possibility that you know that own that business owner knows a couple other business owners and maybe one time it could be a year later it could be a month later it could be a day later they're talking some person like yeah i may i feel like i may want you know some type of some type of online presence whether it's you know mobile application they'll be like actually some guy came by and he's a, he's an iOS freelancer his 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 pamphlet he came by and hand me a pamphlet it looks pretty good and uh, i'll give it to you maybe Maybe this guy will be your guy. Who knows what can come out of it. In addition to that, go up and if you live in a city, I can't really do this around me, but if you live in a city where people are walking by, do one of those uh, where you like nail it on the pole. I don't know what, whether this is legal or not. I don't live in the city. You, you know, you, you nail something on the pole and people will rip off your, your, your contact information, give you a call if they need your service. Do something like that, but be a little bit more creative than just like a piece of paper. Make sure it's, it's, it's a beautiful pamphlet or poster on there. After all, it's kind of in your expertise of you know, creating something beautiful if you're, if you're this type of designer or developer like that. If you had to hire somebody, say an iOS developer, if you had to hire somebody, what would you do? You would search online, you know, how much do they charge, how long will it take? You may even search online something as simple as like, I need an application developed. Search all of these terms in Google. Some of them may be old, some of them may be crap with someone like, I'll offer you 10% to create this. Google that and any recent ones or even some old ones. Actually, answer all the old ones. So go on the old ones, answer whatever it may be, you know, how much they charge and all that, all the questions I just said. Go in there, answer, you know, you know participate in that forum or that question. And people after you who search that will see you and potentially hire you. So. Just get yourself out there. You can also find a company that you see their website or their application and it's not really all that great. I'm sure you've been, you've downloaded an app or you've been to a website that they're, it was just lacking. What you can do is you can either approach them and say, look, I've, I've noticed you know, this flaw, that flaw, whatever you may do, but you know, be nice about it, be, be presentable about it. You can do that or you can create the app or the website, you know, redevelop it, rebuild it you could approach them with that rebuilt app and ask them how much they pay for it or if they like it or you know get some constructive criticism at the very least you can take off their logo and everything and put it into your portfolio and say look this is what i made at the very most this could go way up but you get them as a client and at the very very most you know they spread the word because you did such a good job and then you get more and more clients but who knows you can also do YouTube and Facebook ads where it's not that expensive right now. So right now it's uh, 2016. I don't, this video is gonna be on YouTube for a long time. So it, these advertisements may be more expensive or obsolete compared to a new technology or new, you know, new software. They're not very expensive, but they'll be very effective. You know, if someone clicks on it, that means they're somewhat interested or they accidentally did it and you just, you, you pay for, you pay per click. So that's, also an option, do not roll that out. And with that, you can make it like a YouTube video uh, that, that pre-rolls, or you can make a static ad that either like pops up in the video. I probably wouldn't do those. I'd do one that maybe like sits on the side. Like, you know, if I search cameras on the internet and right after that I go watch a YouTube video, I'll see on the side, you know, a bunch of cameras. So if someone's searching freelance, you know, iOS freelancer on the side, you know, if you claim that term on the side, they may see you. Also, don't rule out contracting. So I've, I've talked to someone recently where they do freelance work, but they also do some contracting work. So they work for themselves, 
what happens is, you know, a, a big company, you know, they have their, whether it's big or small, whatever, but they have a development team. And what they do, if they have a project that's too big, they'll bring on somebody else from the outside. And this person said sometimes he comes in as a lead and kind of like runs that team because I guess, you know, he's the expert in it as opposed to all these little like junior, maybe even senior developers, but not like the lead developers. Or he'll come in and just uh, participate. And what he'll do is come in maybe once a week, maybe once every other week to, you know, update, collaborate, all that, all, you know, have a meeting once a week. Outside of that, he's working from home, so has a remote job, and he said he gets paid pretty good money, and he just works there until that project is done. The last thing on the list is that you could create an application for free for some type of charity, and that will build your reputation. So f find a charity that you like. Maybe they need some type of application or website, whatever you do. Like I said before, don't try to be like a comm and do it because you actually want to, you know. Of course, not a lot of people want to work for free, but if you're not doing anything anyway, do this. People will trust you a little bit more. It, you know, it helps the charity out and the charity may, you know, spread the word if you do a good job and you're easy to get along with. Or what you can do is go to some type of, of small business, whether they, whether you think they need something or not. And go try to do it for a discounted price. This is, you know, if all your other leads don't work out, do it for a discounted price. And make sure they know that it's a discounted price because say you charge uh, $300 to $500 for this application. Now, you may be down money, you know, from all your expenses and whatnot, but, you know, it's better than free. This could potentially lead to a three, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 application down the line, whether you're working with them or whether they're spreading your name across other businesses and those are other potential clients. I've heard one guy who actually did it at a discounted price of $350 and then that person led him to another client that paid him $3,000 for his next thing. And I'm sure, you know, your network just grows from there. I know there's other ways to market and if you have any other suggestions, I would really appreciate it if you left it in the comments below because I would like to know the other suggestions. But these are like a lot of the good ways that I've heard other people succeed with. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, have a good one.